SGC here, and today's first impression is The Tomorrow People, a US TV series. It's actually a remake of the original British TV series of the same name, created by Roger Price, which ran from 1973 to 79. The series follows a group of young people who possesses psionic powers as the result of human evolution. So aka X-Men, but not really. This premiered on The CV back in October 9th of this year, and it Pretty much the first episode was interesting per se. We have Robbie Arno as his lead guy, Steven Jameson, Luke Mitchell as John Young, Pet Peyton List as Kara Colbum, Aaron Yo as Russell Kwan, Madeline as Ostrich Finch, Mark Pellegrino as Judicai Price. So this series talks about genetic evolution and it starts off with the main dude. Steven who's sort of like waking up in different places. That's that's kind of interesting But the narrative's kind of like yeah when he narrates it's kind of boring I don't really need them to tell me that this is my mother. This is my school. This is earth Like you don't need to do that. But anyway, so Steven figure out that he is not sleepwalking when he meets up with John Kara and Russell and then they figure out that they're that they're called the tomorrow people like you would and, and then the, this thing we didn't choose it like what what's up with that like you didn't choose the name that they're calling you the tomorrow people yet who would make up that sort of name and also homo superior and ultra like all these names are just weird and i guess the tomorrow people stands for the t three t's telepath telepathy transport telepathy and teleportation and telekinesis so there you have it then they figure things out at first, I wasn't very intrigued because there's no rules to this teleportation, so it's kind of weird that they would sneak into an area in the very beginning. So I'm just like, uh, why didn't you just teleport into that room and grab that file instead of sneaking into a hospital, grabbing a card key, and then and then teleporting away? Like you wanted to, and then it's not like you wanted them to know that you came in. So confusion. And also, is there like any limits on this teleportation or is it going to be pretty uh, overpowering because you can just teleport everywhere and never be found out, but yeah, so I sort of hope that they have more rules confining the, the, the immediate tomorrow people. Because I mean, as you watch this episode, you know, obviously Steven's special and he has more powers and he's like, obviously I don't care if what he can do because he's Superman pretty much compared to these people, but then the actual group, I would want more rules as into there is a limit to what we can do like sure there's that limit we can't kill anybody it's just but it's like whatever like teleportation i need a limit i need a rule sort of thing because that first trying to catch my attention chase scene was pretty boring though i stuck with it it's a 40 minute thing and then in the end that or that twist about judah kai that was pretty cool and I'm intrigued enough to want to watch the second episode, that's all I can say. But throughout, it was just not really interesting. But the ending was like, oh, this is where they're going with this. So maybe I'll watch the second episode. And I will. And maybe if I don't watch anymore, like if I'm disappointed, I'll do just a impression on the second episode and I'll tell you guys. So anyways, what do you think about the Tomorrow People? I haven't done that really much. What do you think? The Tomorrow People, so on the CV. Check it out if you haven't. And yeah, just tell me what you think about it and leave a comment below.